Hi everyone, Brian with Anderson Pens here, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Sailor 110th Anniversary Shirogane and Kurogane pens. Let's take a look. Okay, here's the box for the brand new Sailor 110th Anniversary. Uh, it's quite a, a different piece. In the past, sometimes you've seen uh, anniversary pens in basically the, the, the same standard cardboard box, but this time the whole thing is different. I love it. We've got the new uh, Sailor Anchor logo and the new font on the box. This is a, a really thick cardboard sleeve. Um, let's take it off. Set that aside. Uh, and the box here that it comes in, this is a chestnut wood box. I've got your Sailor North America warranty card. We'll throw it on the side. Chestnut wood box. It is made specifically for this pen. So we're going to open it up. Uh, we've got a couple of pieces of protectant there. Now, this is the Shirogane, uh, the sterling silver pen. And this comes uh, actually in a sleeve, uh, plastic sleeve, and then it is uh, hermetically sealed uh, in an airtight uh, bag over it. So this is just lovely. And I'm going to, for the moment here, I'm going to set it down on the inside of the tray. We'll talk about what's in the box here and then we'll move that aside and, uh, and get going on the pen. So first thing you see, of course, is this lovely ivory off-white. Uh, this is a hemp pen sleeve. And uh, this, is, while it feels a little rigid at first, it will get softer uh, and uh, with use. So it fits the pen lovely. Inside we've got a couple of uh, cartridges and then a lovely hand made envelope. Inside here you're going to find your polish cloth. There is a 110th anniversary uh, booklet and then uh, your, your standard instructions and warranty repair manual. But let's take a look at the pen. That's what we're here for. So this is a large pen. Um, We'll do some comparisons in a little bit, but it's it's quite large. You can see already it's, uh, you know, compared to my hand, it, it, it's big. Uh, the sterling silver is a smooth, polished finish. Uh, no decoration or ornamentation in any way, shape, or form. Right here we've got the sterling silver mark with a 925 in the back of the cap. With the longer barrel, uh, it actually is, it fits the hand pretty well. Now this is not really a postable pen. So it, well, it seems like it might go on there. It's not, I don't think you would want to. It's quite, quite heavy. A Little bit of a step here, but since this, essentially the sterling starts a little bit further back from the threads, it's actually um, a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice fit here. Uh, you're gonna see right away, we've got a special nib for the 110th anniversary. This is a 21 karat nib. And this is the same size as the standard, uh, the, the full-size Pro Gear or the 1911 large. Uh, but they've got the new Anchor logo, 110th on there. And then we've got this nice, very simple gold overlay on the top, and then the uh, rhodium plated in the middle. This pen comes in fine, medium fine, medium and broad, so four different nib sizes. You see we've got the resin section and we've got the, the little metal trim ring there to match the sterling and we open it up and it is of course a cartridge converter. So nib widths are consistent with the rest of the sailor lineup so if you have another sailor you're going to know exactly how it writes. We've got the uh, the sailor logo here. I just love love this new logo. It looks great and up on the top here we've got an integrated uh, roll stop. Uh, since 1911 is at the top of the roll stop there and so this way if I've got it on my desk it's going to rest right on that roll stop. It's very very nice. The other thing that you'll notice right away is, is this domed crystal on the top and then you can see the gold anchor logo set down inside. So uh, a really really nice touch. It looks great. The, uh, the gold really pops on this uh, sterling pen on the Shirogane. Um, down on the bottom, we've got the uh, laser etched uh, Japan and then the serial number. These are a limited edition of 1,100 pieces. Uh, much, much less in the United States. Really a gorgeous pen. 
Uh, everything about it is, uh, is really fantastic. We've wanted to have a, a different a different sailor for quite a long time, and, and this really, really checks all the boxes. Let's take a look at the Kurogane, which is the black version of this pen. And uh, this is actually, this is a, a stainless steel, and then it's electrically uh, deposited, uh, light-infused uh, technique that uh, gets a, a black finish that's not like plating. It's not gonna wear off. It's very shiny and uh, slightly, uh, slightly lighter than the, than the Sterling. But again, we've got that same gorgeous two-tone nib, black with the silver trim rings on it, the darker trim on the roll stop and the cap band and the end. So like the ruthenium style trim. Really, really a, a stunning piece. Both, uh, both pieces limited edition to 1100, available in the four nib sizes. Fine, medium, fine, medium, and broad. And uh, why don't we take a look at how this pen compares in size. So like I say, it is a large pen. And so I brought a couple other pens here to give you an idea. So this here is a Sailor King of pen. You can see it's a little bit larger. Girth, about the same. About the same. Of course, the, the, the 110th anniversary is going to be uh, much, much uh, heavier. I've got here a 1911 large and this one happens to be also in sterling. Uh, this is an older model and so you can see right away the, the, the difference. And right here I've got a 1911 standard. This in our uh, Anderson Pens exclusive uh, Peacock that we had a few years ago. So you can see the nice uh, selection here uh, how it compares in size. Take this out move these in so you can get an idea. And I also have uh, a full size Pro Gear here too as well. So of course the Pro Gears, same size as a 1911 in girth, but uh, the end pieces here, the finials, uh, shorten it up a little bit. So this is the full size. So you can see quite a difference. Uh, this is a, a large pen. Let's take the cap off. Let's compare the body size. And so there you go. So you can see, if I move this up here, same size nib that's on the, uh, the 1911 large in the, in the full size Pro Gear, but quite a bit longer body, which actually makes it for a nice, like I say, a, a nice, you wouldn't want to post it even if you could. Uh, very actually nice weight uh, distribution on the pen. So that'll give you an idea. Let's, uh, let's pull the King of Pen in here one last time just so you can see what that's like on posted. And so very, very similar. Of course, the King of Pen has the larger nib, but uh, very similar in, uh, in length. So there you have it, the Sailor 110th anniversary Shirogane and Kurogane pens. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com and our stores in Appleton and Chicago. Thanks for watching.